The Nature of Conflict by Christy Imes and Sarah Potter. Nature of Conflict is an express struggle between at least two interdependent parties who perceive scarce resources, incompatible goals, and interference from others in achieving their goals. So let's take a look at a scenario between two girls, Maggie and Christine, who are competing to become chapter president. Today we are going to focus on the concepts of conflict such as scarce resources, goal incompatibility, and goal interference. So let's go to our first scene. Elections are coming up and I can't wait to run for president. I think I'm the only one running. Maggie, I've considered running for president as well. Christine, there can only be one president. Maybe you should consider running for maybe vice president or secretary because you've never really done well in high power positions. I understand there's just one president, Maggie, and I want to be it. We see that scarce resource is the position of presidency. A resource can be, set, can be defined as any positively perceived physical, economic, or social consequence. A resource doesn't have to be tangible like a position, money, or land. It can be intangible like love and affection. Sometimes the most appropriate behavior is to attempt to change the other person's perception of the resource instead of trying to reallocate the resource. Now let's continue on with the scene and watch how it develops. You have known for a long time that I'm running for president, so I don't understand why you would run against me. You know how important this is to me. Maggie, it isn't about you. I honestly feel like I'm the most qualified person for the job. Just because you're popular within the chapter doesn't mean you're qualified. I've held multiple chairmanships and positions, and I think I have a better idea of how this chapter runs than you do. Well, Maggie, if I'm so unqualified, you should have no problem, right? I mean, who wouldn't want to be led by a neurotic control freak anyway? Now that goals have been clearly stated, it can be seen that the girls have incompatible goals. This can result when two parties have the same or different goals. So you should definitely not vote for Maggie. Christine, how could you do that? Why would you tell her not to vote for me? I told her about my main points and views, and she agrees with them. So why would I encourage her to to vote for someone who doesn't share her views. Because there'll be a time and place for them to hear what we have to say and what we think. I'm just being proactive. Besides, I'm not the one blasting my beliefs on social media. That's not the same thing at all, Christine. I don't see a difference. The interference with goals. Christine and Maggie are employing tactics to stop the other's campaign. Each of the parties are trying to block the other, and this only intensifies the conflict. Conflict is a great example of an escalatory spiral because the communication behaviors led to a destructive conflict. Each girl's response to the other only heightened the conflict that was developing. When Christine says she is the most qualified, Maggie responds by dismissing Christine's skills. This dismissal triggers an even stronger reaction from Christine that results in harsh language used. This ultimately leads the girls to employ practices that they know are unwarranted, that are only continued to escalate in the conflict. All right. Y'all shut up now. Now, last week, we talked about the physiology of the animal brain as it pertains to aggression. Now, is there anyone here that can tell me why most alligators are abnormally aggressive. I know the answer to this question. Raise your hand. Anybody? Anyone? Yes, sir, you, sir. Mama says that alligators are ornery because they got all them teeth but no toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> Your mama said alligators are ornery because they got all them teeth and no toothbrush. Wow. <laughs> Anybody else? Hey, yes, I'll use it. Alligators are aggressive because of an enlarged medulla oblongata. It's the sector of the brain which controls aggressive behavior. That is correct. The medulla oblongata. But mama said... The medulla oblongata is where anger, jealousy, and aggression come from. Now, is there anybody here who can tell me where happiness comes from? No. Anyone? Oh. All right. Let's hear what Mama has to say on the subject. Mama say that happiness is from magic rays of sunshine that come down when you're feeling blue. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
up, folks. Mama's wrong again. <laughs> no kind of saying this, you're wrong. Mama's right. <laughs> All right. Mama's right. Mama's right. Something wrong with his medulla oblongata. <laughs> Coach Klein said I could. Mr. Coach Klein said I could. It's fine.